Another day, another dollar, another win on prize picks. We picked it up again yesterday. Bam Adebayo snuck over the line in game one, and then Draymond blew it out of the water in the second game. Had eight points in the first four minutes. That one was easy. So that's three dubs in the last five days that we've put this video out. I hope you're tailing. You have a lot more money if you are. On to today, though. Make sure you're hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. These are the prize picks picks for Thursday, May 11th. You got to follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman, and you should be signing up at Chalkboard. The link is in the description. Completely free. It's an app for your phone, Android, iPhone. We're just creating a, a community to talk prize picks, to talk sports betting. We're doing giveaways from time to time. This isn't our product. This is just a place that we want to hang out and talk about sports betting. This is what you should be doing. It'll track your bets and track your prize picks results as well. E even more features to come from Chalkboard, allegedly. Anyway, that's Chalkboard, folks. Now we're on to the plays for today. And I'm starting it off by going to Devin Booker, over 31 and a half real points. Uh, this one for me isn't all that difficult to want to get to. The Suns, if they don't win, their season is over. So I think that we're getting massive minutes out of Devin Booker, 43, 44. I don't think it would be crazy if he played the entire game like we saw Jalen Brunson do yesterday. And if Phoenix wants to have a chance, both he and Kevin Durant are just going to score 30 real points. They, they kind of have to. We know they're going to have 30-ish percent usage rates, upwards of 40 in a game where you really need to get them going. There's just too much opportunity here for Booker, especially with the playing time increase. If you're a believer in the Suns today, if you think this one is competitive, it's got to be really difficult to picture this game being a competitive matchup or a, a Suns win if Devin Booker doesn't score north of 30 real points. That's why I'm taking the over. My other prop for today is going to be over two and a half made threes by Jamal Murray. And he's only hit this once in this series. That was in game one. He was two for four in the most recent game, one for three the game previous to that. He did go 0 for nine in game two. I just think he's going to get his threes up today. And I think he's going to hit a few of them. I kind of wanted to go to just over 24 and a half points. And if you want to go that direction, I think it's fine. But I think we're going to see Jamal Murray get there from a three-point shooting barrage. I think we're going to be closer to the 6 of 10 game. I know that that's outlandish to say. I think we're going to be closer to the 6 of 10 game in game one to the 0 for 9 game that we saw in game two. I think he's just going to have a better stroke from outside. But if you want to go to any other Jamal Murray prop, fantasy score, points, assists, all the, the PRAs and the points and rebounds type stuff, I don't mind it. I'm a big fan of Jamal Murray today, but I think he gets it done from the outside that is why I'm looking, because they're mixing and matching now. It's Landry Shamit and Terrence Ross playing bigger minutes. This defense isn't as good for Phoenix, and if that's the case, I think Murray gets free. Over two and a half threes is what we're looking for. There's the card, folks. Booker over, Murray over. That's what we have for today, Thursday, May 11th. We're building the momentum, folks. We picked up the dub yesterday. We're picking up another dub again today. If I'm not Tell me in the comments, which one of these guys is losing this one? What don't you believe in? That's what I want to know. Good luck today, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.